If you're using Cricut Design Space, um, after you have saved the file where you will remember to find it, in my case, I put it in a temp directory. I'm working with the spacefamily.svg file. You need to upload it into Design Space to be able to use it. If you just double click on the file wherever you've saved it, what's going to happen is the program that you have designated on your computer for SVG files, that's the program that will open your file. If you have nothing designated, then your browser will open the file because that's the default. In my case, I have made shortcuts a lot my default program for opening SVG files. So when I double click the file, shortcuts a lot starts and that's what's going to open my file. I'll show you here. It actually doesn't open the file. It allows me to create a new project. I'll do that. And then I bring my file in. So ignore all of that. When you're using Cricut Design Space, run Cricut Design Space, click New Project. You need to click the Upload button on the left here. You need to go to find your file. So you go click Upload Image again. You browse to where you saved your file. Mine is in my temp directory. This is the spacefamily.svg file. I'm opening it. It's fine because it is already a PN, it, it is already an SVG file, so there's nothing in the background. When you see a checkered pattern like this, that's what it means. It means it's transparent. So this is just a cut image. You just need to click upload on the right bottom over here. And then when it's uploaded like this, click it to select it and then choose add to canvas on the bottom right. It takes a second and then it brings it in for you. So you can then adjust the size by dragging the handles. You can also right click and ungroup and now all of these parts will be separate and you can use the files you want or, or the parts that you want and delete the ones you don't. Don't forget to save your project and remember that your SVG file is always safe on your computer where you saved it exactly as it was. If you want to start all over again, go back and do the same thing. The file is still intact. Hope this is helpful. Thanks so much for watching.